Let us know. Welcome an illuminary who does not need an introduction and who is not to all of us for his best wisdom and knowledge. He is none other than our Honorable Governor Sri Abdul Nazir sir. Welcome sir. Now I request our Joint Secretary to Governor Sri Surya Prakash Karu to address the gathering with his welcome note. I extend my hearty welcome to Honorable Governor sir. Respected Special Chief Secretary, sir, and distinguished guests, to today's program organized by Andhra Pradesh Raj Bhavan to celebrate Uttarakhand Foundation Day, which is held on 9th November every year. As you all know, Uttarakhand state was formed out of Uttar Pradesh on 9th November 2000. Uttarakhand was earlier known as Uttaranchal. It was renamed as Uttarakhand on 1st January 2007. The name Uttarakhand is derived from Sanskrit, which literally means Northern region. The state is an amalgamation of culture, ethnicity and religion and is one of the most visited tourist destinations in India. The state of Uttarakhand has very rich natural resources including glaciers, rivers, dense forests and snow-capped mountain peaks. Uttara Uttarakhand also houses for foremost sacred and revered Hindu temples also known as the Chardham of Uttarakhand, Badrinath, Kedarnath, Gangotri and Yamunotri. And thousands of devotees attend Haridwar's traditional Ganga Aarti every year. The Uttarakhand Foundation Day celebrations have been organized by the Andhra Pradesh Raj Bhavan to celebrate the spirit of Ek Bharat Shreshth Bharat. To promote national unity and integrity, the program was launched on 31st October 2015 on the occasion of the birth anniversary of Sri Sardhar Vallabhai Patel. Under this program, every state in India is paid with another state to promote cultural exchange and enhance mutual understanding and appreciation. The states are chosen based on the similarities and differences in culture, language, traditions, geography and socio-economic conditions. With these few words, I would conclude my welcome speech. Thank you, sir. Now I request to play a short video on the Uttarakhand state. Welcome to Uttarakhand. Home of snow-covered peaks, verdant valleys, untouched forests, Maharishi Ashram, where the Beatles spent their creative time. Yoga and Ayurveda, religious destinations, filmmakers paradise, and UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Formed on the 9th of November 2000, one of the youngest states of India, Uttarakhand has grown by leaps and bounds in a short time. Located at the foothills of the majestic Himalayan mountain ranges, it is known for its pristine beauty and breathtaking locales. While Uttarakhand has always been acknowledged as a tourism hub and welcomes a large number of visitors each year from all over the world, the young state has also emerged as one of the major investment destinations in the country, with a tourist footfall three times the population Tourism accounts for a lion's share of the service sector and contributes heavily to economic growth, livelihood and GDP in the state. Uttarakhand has been consistently ranked amongst the best hill states for ease of doing business in India and offers unlimited opportunities with attractive policies for tourism-based investments. There is more to Uttarakhand than one. I request all the dignitaries to have a video message by Lieutenant General Gurmeet Singh Rittai, Honorable Governor of Uttarakhand State. Rajya Sthapna Divas ki 23 Vash Gant par aap sabhi ko hardik badai aur shub kaamna hai. Yeh bhoot hi sundar afsar hai ki jab aap sabhi Dev Bhoomi ke Rajya Sthapna Divas ko mana rahe hai. Ek Bharat, Shresht Bharat ki soch par adharit इस पहल के लिए मैं माननीय 
प्रधानमंत्री श्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी और माननीय गृह मंत्री श्री अमित शाह जी को धन्यवाद ज्ञापित करता हूं उनकी प्रेरणा से प्रत्येक राज्य के स्थापना दिवस को अन्य राज्यों में भी मनाया जा रहा है जो हमारे देश की विशिष्ट पहचान विविधता में एकता की अवधारणा को और अधिक प्रबल करती है एक दूसरे राज्य के स्थापना दिवस मनाने से सामाजिक एकीकरण और सांस्कृतिक आदान प्रदान को बढ़ावा मिल रहा है एक भारत श्रेष्ठ भारत की विचारधारा से प्रेरित इस प्रकार के कार्यक्रम भारत की सांस्कृतिक विविधता के साथ ही राष्ट्रीय एकता की भावना और आपसी समझ को बढ़ाती है आज हमारा प्रदेश अपनी स्थापना की तेईस वर्षों की यात्रा पूरी करते हुए चौबीसवें वर्ष में प्रवेश कर रहा है आने वाले दो वर्षों में वर्ष 2025 में हम अपनी स्थापना के 25 वर्ष पूर्ण करेंगे विकास और समृद्धि के सपनों के साथ राज्य के लोगों ने इन तेईस वर्षों में नए उत्तराखंड को पुष्पित पल्लवित और विकसित होते हुए देखा है उत्तराखंड का तीसरा दशक 21वीं शताब्दी का भी तीसरा दशक है प्रधानमंत्री श्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी ने कई अवसरों पर कहा है कि 21वीं शताब्दी का तीसरा दशक उत्तराखंड का दशक है इसी परिकल्पना के साथ हमारा प्रदेश विकास के पथ पर निरंतर अग्रसर है हमारा प्रदेश देवभूमि उत्तराखंड अपने नैसर्गिक सौंदर्य समृद्ध सांस्कृतिक विरासत योग केंद्रों पर्यटन स्थलों धार्मिक स्थानों और जैव विविधता के लिए जाना जाता है चार धाम यात्रा हो या फिर योग और ध्यान के लिए देश और दुनिया भर से पर्यटक यहां आ रहे हैं मैं आप सभी को देवभूमि उत्तराखंड में आने के लिए आमंत्रित करता हूं आप लोगों को जब भी समय लगे आप देवभूमि में चार धाम यात्रा यहां के पर्यटन स्थलों और जैव विविधता का अनुभव अवश्य करें मैं इस अवसर पर माननीय राज्यपाल और उपराज्यपाल जी का भी धन्यवाद करता हूं जिन्होंने देवभूमि उत्तराखंड के राज्य स्थापना दिवस के अवसर पर कार्यक्रम आयोजित किए हैं यहां उपस्थित उत्तराखंड के प्रवासियों को भी राज्य स्थापना दिवस के इस अवसर पर बधाई एवं शुभकामनाएं एक बार पुनः मैं पूरे प्रदेशवासियों की ओर से आप सभी का धन्यवाद ज्ञापित करता हूं जय हिंद नाउ आई रिक्वेस्ट मोहम्मद वजीह नाइक लॉ स्टूडेंट विजय बटे टू डिलीवर हर स्पीच Good morning to our Honorable Governor of the Andhra Pradesh, Janab Abdul Nazir Sir. Assalamu alaikum. Respected bureaucrats, it's good to see who gather here to celebrate Uttarakhand Formation Day. मेरा नाम वजीहा है. मैं नौवीं तरगति पढ़ रही हूँ. मैं राकेश पब्लिक स्कूल से आई हूँ. मैं 2021 में दिल्ली, अजमी देखने गई थी. उस समय मैं उत्तराखंड भी देख चुकी हूँ उत्तर भारत के सुंदर प्रांतों में सी एक है उत्तराखंड यहाँ के मनोरम वादियों हिमालय झील झरने देखने लायक है यह भारत का प्रमुख पर्यटक स्थल है मुझे देखते ही ऐसा लगा कि उत्तराखंड की खूबसूरती के आगे यूरोप की खूबसूरती भी फेल है यहाँ का भोजन जो पालक और मेथी से बनता है वे स्वादिष्ट है यहाँ का केदारनाथ गंगोत्री देहरादून देखने लायक है साल 2000 नवंबर 9 से उत्तराखंड राज्य दिवस मनाया जा रहा है 2000 से 2006 तक उत्तरांचल नाम से जाना जाता है 2006 से उत्तराखंड से उत्तराखंड नाम बताया जा रहा है उत्तराखंड राज्य अधिकांश देवियों परंपराओं में निहित संस्कृति का केंद्र स्थान है 
यहाँ का मसूरी बेस्ट प्लेस है यहाँ के औरतें जो कपड़े पहनते हैं वे बहुत अच्छे हैं। घाघरा तथा आंगड़ी भी पहनते हैं यहाँ का प्रसिद्ध नृत्य छोलिया नृत्य है यहाँ का प्रमुख भाषा हिंदी है दूसरी प्रमुख राज्य भाषा संस्कृत है आज आप सब उस सुंदर जगह से हमारे आंध्र प्रदेश आए हैं। आप सबको मेरा स्वागत है आप सबको यहाँ देखकर मुझे बेहद खुशी हुई थैंक यू फॉर गिविंग दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू मी थैंक यू थैंक यू बजी हाउ नो आई रिक्वेस्ट मिस्टर प्रियांशु कन्या स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम विच यूनिवर्सिटी टू डिलीवर हिस्स पी Good morning to everyone present here. I would like to pay my respect to Justice Abdul S. Nazir, the now for presenting me this opportunity, as I am honoured to stand before you to speak about my beloved state Uttarakhand. Laying in the foothills of Himalayas, it is often referred to as Dev Bhumi or the land of the gods. Uttarakhand is a land land of breathtaking beauty, rich culture, and immense spiritual significance. Spirituality is woven into the very fabric of Uttarakhand. The Ganga originates from Gangotri glacier and flows through the heart of the state bestowing a divine aura upon the towns and villages it touches. The river is not just a physical entity but a spiritual lifeline for the people of Uttarakhand and it banks serve as the stage for awe inspiring Ganga Aarti in Haridwar. The Char Dham Yatra covering Yamunotri, Gangotri, Badrinath and Kedarnath is a pilgrimage that draws devotees from around the world. Our Uttarakhand is also a land of great cultural heritage. It has been home to various civilization over centuries and blends the influences of culture from different parts of India. The state is famous for its temples, its folk music and dance and its delicious cuisine. Uttarakhand is also a very popular tourist destination. People from all over India and the world come to experience the state's natural beauty, its rich culture and warm hospitality. From the challenging trails of Rishikesh to the steep slopes of Oli, every corner offers a unique experience for those who seek an adventure. As one explores the dense forest and pristine wilderness, the sheer magnificence of Uttarakhand's natural heritage becomes evident. But amidst the thrill of adventure, we must never lose the sight of our responsibility as stewards of this ecological marvel. Conservation and sustainable living are not just buzzwords here, but a way of life. It is a very cultural and various dance forms and folk songs of Uttarakhand reflect the same. <laughs> Now I request Mr. Namath Pand, SRM University student, to give. Honorable Governor of Andhra Pradesh, esteemed dignitaries, 
ladies and gentlemen and all my dear fellow citizens i naman pant wish you a warm greeting of uttarakhand foundation day today i am honored to share the enchanting world of uttarakhand the state is a symphony of traditions culture music cuisines and dignity clothings like rangali pichoda and nathuli in addition to the beloved folk song bedu pako baramasa and uh, in integrate apan designs uttarakhand often called the devabhumi or the land of the god is a place of incredible diversity and cultural richness uttarakhand lo located in the northern part of india is a land of captivating be beauty and spirituality its culture is deeply intertwined with the natural surroundings and the people here have an immense respect for the environment which is reflected in their daily lives and traditions one of the most iconic aspect of uttarakhand's culture is it its folk music and dance the folk song of the region beautifully narrated stories of the local legends god and the goddess and are the accompanied by the traditional instruments like dhol damau and shenai the famous jagar uh, the famous jagar is a traditional form of devotional singing that is performed to invoke the blessings of the god and the integral part of the state culture heritage the heartwarming bedu pa ko barmas uh, this song is a very famous kumauni song that uh, encapsulate the soul of uttarakhand's music its lyrics express the yearning of a woman for her beloved who has been away for the 12 months and making it it is a timeless classic that resonate with the people across the culture our devbhumi renowned for its uh, numerous festival fairs and celebrate its culture uh, culture traditions festival like diwali holi and basant panchami are celebrated with the great enthusiasm and the grandeur the region's uh, unique festival such as magh mela nanda devi rajghat and uh, harela the bikhoti festival are the uh, testament to the distinct culture of uttarakhand now let's delve into the culinary delights of the uttarakhand the cuisines the cuisines here is a sim uh, simple yet uh, favorful primarily by vegetarian due to the spiritual significance of the area the use of locally sourced ingredient like millet wheat rice vegetable and lentils gives the rice to unique di dishes alu ke gutke badi bhat bhatki chudkani thichwani and the sweet delight of sihal pua are the among uh, regional uh, favorites and in the realm of sweet delights uttarakhand also offers a uh, delicatable uh, treat known as bal mithai and uh, singori this traditional sweet uh, originating from the kumau region is a symphony of the flavors and textures in terms of clothing people of uttarakhand have distinct uh, traditional attire rangali pichoda is a beautifully embroidered and the vibrant attire worn by a woman typically during the special occasions and festivals it reflects the colorful and the celebratory spirit of nathuli on on the other hand and it is an uh, integrate uh, nose ring worn by a woman which add to the traditional charm of their attire in the heart of himalayas where the mountains whisper accent tales and the rivers sing uh, timeless uh, melodies lies uttarakhand a treasure trove of traditions cultures songs fa uh, flavors and uh, vibrant attire it is a place where the land and its people are bound together by a profound connection to the nature and this connection is at the core of their mesmerizing traditions and uh, mouth watering cuisines as uh, we savor of sounds flavors colors and the art of uttarakhand we embark uh, on a journey through the world beauty spirituality and uh, rich heritage once again spreading the greetings of uttarakhand foundation day thank you thank you very much thank you mr namo it's time to listen khadwali song i request mr vaibhav kukreti student from wit university to sing khadwali song aap sabhi ko meru namaskar i pay i start by paying my uh, i start by paying my respect to the honorable uh, governor of andhra pradesh so Uh, the bureaucrats present here and uh, the audience members 
the uh, I'll uh, I'll start by paying my tributes to the martyrs who sacrificed their lives for the formation of our state. Uh, it has been 23 years and we'll never forget them. The song which I'm going to sing today is written by Sri Narendra Singh Negi. Sri Narendra Singh Negi is a popular folk singer and one of the greatest folk singers of all time. His name is taken along with the names of Sri Girish Tiwari, who is a folk singer from Gamao, and Padma Shri awardee Dr. Pritam Bharatwan, also known as Jagar Samrat. So without much of a delay, we'll start with this song. सुगंगा जी कुचाल ठंडो ठंडो ऐंच ऊंच यो हिमाल ठंडो ठंडो निसुगंगा जी कुचाल ठंडो ठंडो छैया चन छणा पन्यार हो 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 छन बुग्याल ढालदार हो 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 पैया चन छणा पन्यार छन बुग्याल ढालदार रोल पाख पण उंदार ठंडो 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 रे ठंडो मेरा पाड़े की हवा ठंडी पानी ठंडो now i cordially invite our honorable governor sri abdul nazir sir to grace the occasion and address the gathering distinguished guests ladies and gentlemen my dear students abhivadan to you all at the outset i extend my warm greetings and heartiest felicitation to the people of uttarakhand on the occasion of their foundation day celebrated on 9th november it became the 27th state of india on 9th november 2000 carved out of northern uttar pradesh uttarakhand located at the foothills of the himalayan mountain ranges <coughs> is largely a hill state having international boundaries with china in the north and nepal in the east it was earlier part of uttar pradesh and was also known as uttaranchal it is rich in natural resources especially water and forests with many glaciers rivers dense forests and snow clad mountain peaks the entire state is covered in vast stretches of thriving green cover deep lush valleys lined by the magnificent and spiritual himalayas it is popularly called devbhumi or the land of gods and goddesses due to the presence of some of the most ancient temples shrines and pilgrimages char dhams the four most sacred and revered hindu temples of badrinath kedarnath gangotri and yamunotri are nestled in the mighty mountains the state's history boasts of some of the most iconic and legendary happenings that range from mahabharata being scripted here by sage vyasa to the pandavas taking a pilgrimage in search of lord shiva 
Uttarakhand's culture is deeply rooted in tradition and the region has preserved its rich cultural heritage over centuries. The people of Uttarakhand are famed for their humble living, traditions and their close deep bond with nature. They are known for their warm hospitality and simplicity and many of them still follow traditional customs and practices such as wearing traditional attire, cooking local cuisine and practicing local art forms. The state of Uttarakhand is filled with people working full time as artisans performing and keeping the culture of arts and crafts alive in the country. Items made of woodwork are probably one of the most significant forms of art in Uttarakhand. Another way the people conserve their art is in the form of Ramban handicraft which is created using jute and hemp. The Uttarakhand music and dance refers to the festivals, faith, cultural practices, folklore stories, historical figures and the beauty of nature. The Pahari music and songs are unique to the Kumon and Garhwal region and reflects their deeply held beliefs and the traditions and conveys joy and celebration of the arrival of new season. The state is blessed with a rare biodiversity of nearly 175 rare species of aromatic and medicinal plants found in the state. Uttarakhand's cuisine is unique with several local delicacies and the food is packed with organic nutrients and minerals and taste extremely delicious and is a real treat for every foodie. Some of the popular dishes, uh, dishes include chain su, right? How many of you are here from Uttarakhand here? Okay, so if I am wrong, you must tell me, right? <laughs> chain su, bhanki chutney, alu ke gutke, bal mithai, kumon ki raita, kundali ka saag, garwali phanu, etc. Phanu or phanu? The cuisine is influenced by the region's geography and climate with a focus on locally sourced ingredients. India's rich cultural heritage and history and the development of the country is based on the principles of non-violence, justice, diversity of languages, culture, region, tied in the thread of unity. The Ek Bharat, Shreshth Bharat program aims to forge a strong relationship and bonding among all the people of the country and promote mutual understanding between different states and union territories through the concept of oneness. Great leaders like Mahatma Gandhi, Rabindranath Tagore, Bankim Chandra Chatterjee, Gopal Krishna Gokhale, Sardar Vallabhai Patel have strongly advocated the idea of unity brotherhood, tolerance and non-violence. We strongly believe in the spirit of fraternity, universal brotherhood and the concept of one nation, one people. I once again extend my heartiest greetings and felicitations to the people of Uttarakhand on their state foundation day. Thank you all. Jai Hind. Thank you for your valuable message sir. Now, I request Deputy Secretary to Governor Sri Narayan Swamikaru to propose vote of thanks. Namaste to His Excellency, Honorable Governor of Andhra Pradesh and Special Chief Secretary to Governor and each and everyone who have presented here on this occasion. It is my privilege to propose vote of thanks and acknowledge the contribution of those who have worked hard to make the Uttarakhand Formation Day a grand success. 
First and foremost, I would like to extend our heartfelt gratitude to our Chief Guest, His Excellency, Sri S. Abdul Najib, Honorable Governor of Andhra Pradesh, for gracing us with his presence on this special occasion. Today we had an opportunity, sir, to hear your thoughts and they surely encourage us. I also extend my sincere thanks to our Special Chief Secretary Governor, Sri Anil Kumar Singhal, IAS, for his guidance and support for organizing this event. I also extend my sincere thanks to our Uttarakhand fraternity who have presented and come here, participated actively on this occasion of Uttarakhand Formation Day. We are also deeply thankful to our esteemed guests, officers and staff of the Raj Bhavan and all those who have taken the time to join us today. Your presence here adds significant meaning to this celebration. I am thankful to all the officers and staff of the Raj Bhavan for their efforts and arrangements to make this event a success. Namaskar.